everybody. Welcome to Thoughts and Treasures. It's Connie. How is everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. If you do not see the little red live button at the top of the screen, you are watching replay. Hashtag replay. Let me know that you are here. If you do see the little red live button, come on in. Let's get crafty. Hold on. Let me get myself pulled up over here. Whew. Try to come live and the dog's chewing things up already. Let's see. She, she is going to be terribly pissed at me tonight. So let's, why don't we take a little uh, count on how many times she um, does something wrong tonight. Where is this at? This is not coming up. You guys, give me a second to pop on here. Whew. She's just getting ready to hit the live button. Here she is chomping away on something. I was like, ah. Hold on, hold on. It's not even saying I'm live. I hope I'm live. Okay, let's go. Let's figure this one out. There it is. Hey, Diana, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I don't know what that's doing. Let's hope that's not what it's supposed to do. Hey, Karen, how are you? Remember, if you sprinkle or spread, let me know. Also, hit one of the... Oh, let me, let me start this. Hit one of those emojis down there so that I can get your name. Hey, Sheila, how are you? <laughs> About time, I'm telling you. Look, I was gonna, I was gonna, I'm only a minute late. I was gonna hit the live button a few seconds early, and Sydney's over there chomping away on something. I was like, seriously? So I had to go get that from her. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna be, but I left her alone all day. So again, she's probably gonna have it. Thank you, Karen. She's gonna have probably 10, right now she's laying under here, and I've got her down. Thank you, Rhonda. How are you guys doing? I am going to be slap happy tonight. Let's see what we can do. I said we're going to slap a couple napkins or two. Hey, Cindy, how are you doing? Thank you, thank you for sprinkling, spreading. Did you get them done yet, Ralph? Did you get them done? I, you called when I was in the dental office. The dental office? The dentist office? The the dental place? The, um, what do you call it? The dentist? <laughs> thank you, Danita. You guys are awesome, awesome. I know Jude better hurry up. I don't think I'm going to make it to 4,800 by um, Monday. I think it's Monday. Just saying. Just saying. The tooth is actually doing better today. I did go to the dentist and I'll tell you what's going it landed in a, landed in It landed in the plate of dried stuff. I was hoping it was dry. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. How are you doing? <clears throat> Your purse answered and I hurt. Oh, did it? You hurt? It answered, really? Oh, okay. Well, um, you can talk to my purse all you want. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, how are you? Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, why did that come up? Oh, you know what? That other night, it, that that blackout, let's just call it a blackout. I don't even know what you want to call it. I was told, hey, Linda, but see, it apparently is working better because now I can see Linda again, which I couldn't see Linda for the longest time. Poor Linda would, like, show up and then, hey, Tracy, my beautiful friend, how are you? <clears throat> see, as I'm saying, everybody sees, everybody's seeing everybody again, so I'm like, maybe they did fix something. Which one did it come with? I don't know if I have one here. Is it is it the orange one? Linda, I see you. I see you. Oh, Sheila. You're beautiful, too. You got ghost. Look, I'm telling you, Facebook was acting a little crazy. I don't know what was going on, but... It just seems like after that little blackout that we had, which was, I ain't going to tell you, was a little weird, um, things got better. So maybe they did fix a glitch. Because like I said, right now I'm seeing everybody. Not ready for tomorrow. Oh, raining and cold. Look, Karen, I ain't going to lie to you. Today was the first sunny day in I don't know how many days. So... <sighs> Oh, thank you for 
Vir hey, Virginia, how are you? You got your free vinyl today? And, Rhonda, weren't you the one that said that you used the HT, whatever, whatever, that other, didn't you, were you the one? I'm waiting to see an answer. Because if you are the one, what do you think of it? Someone was asking me if I used it, and I have never used it before. But there's one brand, and I cannot think of the name of it, that I do not like. Um, because when you cut it, you can't... Yeah, that's the one. Is it good? Oh, Tiffany Yuckers. Prayers for your family. Oh, you like it. Okay, there's another brand out there that I can't think of what it is. Thank you, Tracy. Um, oh, it's driving me nuts, and I can't think of the brand. Um, hey, Dawn, how are you? For the life of me, I cannot think of the brand that it is. But I'm telling you, when you cut it, you cannot see where, and it doesn't come off nicely like Sister Easy Weed does. Um, hey, Vicky, thank you, thank you. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out what it was. And I don't think it was that one. But how does that one, like, when you when, when you have to weed it, can you see where it actually cut, the cricket cut it? Ah, girl, I'm tired of adulting, too. <clears throat> I was waiting. I'm waiting for a thing. <laughs> Hey, Diane, how are you? Well, at least they were negative, but still, being sick, I don't care what you, if it's COVID or just the regular flu, it's just nasty to be sick. It heaps. So you can really see, did, I cannot think of the other brand that there was. I'm telling you, this brand that I, that I used one time, um, it was horrible. You couldn't, it was like, it was like almost using, if you've ever used the glitter vinyl or the glitter, um, HTV, you cannot see where it, the, where it, I mean, it obviously cut, but you cannot see anywhere where it cuts. And the same thing like with a lot of the, um, holographic ones, you can, it's hard, it, you can see the line, but it's really hard to see where it is. Thank you, Penny. Oh, it is hot down here. It's hot down here. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Jude. Look, I just wiped the drool off my face. Hey, Isla, how are ya? Hey, from Texas. See, I'm telling you, you get a lot. Oh, I hope they're okay, but I did. They get a lot of germs from school. So let me just tell you, I did go to the dentist today. I called this morning now. I went to thank oh there you go, Jude. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> um I went to the dentist today and well I called this morning. I got it first thing and I, I my friend goes she swears by her one dentist. I got you, Penny, I got you. Um she swears by him, so I said, all right, let me, let me, you know, of course, this is 11 o'clock at night when I decide, because the pain was awful last night. So, I messaged her, and of course, I knew she would text me back, like, early in the morning, which she did. She sent me the number, so I called him up first thing in the morning when I got up. I called, and I was like, okay, I, uh, my friend, um, mess, or my friend recommended, I said, I'm not a patient here, but I have a, an issue with my tooth, blah, blah, blah. And she said, okay, can we ask who recommended you? And I said, yeah, Becky, I mean, Rebecca Hobgood, you know, I was trying to be professional. And like, oh, okay, well, it's, it's probably a good thing if you don't let people know that you're friends with her. I said, well, damn, there's one thing. <laughs> this place is so cool. It's so funny. Because um, she was just joking around. So I said, well, I try not to. It's really, it's really hard not to, uh, you know, let people know that I know her. But... Sometimes it does come out. Anyway, so I went to the dentist. They gave me a 2.30 appointment today. So we went up there, and um, he looked at my tooth. 
yada, yada, yada. He put me on some antibiotics first. I'm supposed to have to, have to go back November 9th, I think it is, at 1 o'clock. And he's either going to, because from the x-rays, it's hard to tell if the tooth has been, the nerve is affecting this, or if it's just, you know, the tooth can be filled. So he's not going to know that until he actually gets in there and starts working on it. So, on that note, I have to go back. If the, oh, we have Tracy's the first one in. Um, so on that note, I have to wait. And then if he can't do anything, then I have to go get the sucker pulled out. Which, you know, it's okay. Whatever, it is what it is. But here's the funny thing. And this is where the story is. And, you know, you trust. you should trust... You should trust your dentist and doctors, right? Well, I'm going to call bull crappy on it. Because my back tooth, I'm going to be honest with you, I've had it filled twice by one dentist, and the filling keeps coming out. This was a, this will be the third time this, this one tooth is being filled. And let's see. And I, I swear I paid for a root canal on it, um, the crown or the, whatever they put on there, all this stuff. And of course it comes out, whatever it does, it does. And Ross, Ross is even telling me, cause you should go get your records and see what, what they actually did. And I'm like, well, can you do that? Like a regular doctor? I don't know. Can you, anybody work for a dental office? Cause I'm almost tempted to go get the records. Cause I swear, I swear they, they charged me for a, um, root canal and the dentist is like, um, I don't think they ever did a root canal in this tooth. I'm going, I know I paid for one. He's like, I, I don't think so. That's the problem. It's not. <laughs> it's not. That's the problem, Jude. <laughs> so, he told me, he says, there was never a root canal done on it. I'm like, well, I'm going to tell you, I paid for one. You can't get the records? All right, well, I think I'm going to call him up and ask him for them. And go get them. Because I'm going to take them. Because I swear I paid for a root canal on that tooth. Yes, it's expensive. I pay. I mean, I swear. No joking aside. I don't have dental insurance. I had a... Uh, um, which I have now, too. Um, it's just like a reduced plan where you get like 20% off. Blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing. Um, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go try them. Because I'm going to take them to him and go, look. Because he swears, he's saying no, there was never a, a root canal done on this. He goes, if there was a root canal done, he goes, you would not feel anything right there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, well, I'm feeling something. I don't know what you tell you. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to call him up and say I need records. Thank you, Susan. I'm going to try and say, at least if he can look at it and go, I might not understand the records, but at least if I take them up to him. But that's the thing. Like I said, I spent like $3,000 and had dental work done one time and then probably spent another two, 3000 the second time I went to this one place. And I went back to the same place. Now, granted, I know I definitely had a little bit more um, expenses that I shouldn't have because I had them put me to sleep. <laughs> I do. I know. I have. I have. Yep. I have care credit. But it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't pay for everything. you got to pay it back. But I do have it. You've had root canals that didn't work and you had to go back? Well, then what's the point of a root canal? I thought a root canal is supposed to, like, completely get rid of the nerves and the, deaden the nerves in your tooth. Huh. So... Now, see, now maybe I feel bad for saying things I'm saying, but I really think they, that one place ripped me off. You know, it's like tuning my car and they didn't do a darn thing to it. I do, but I, I, I know what you mean. I do have care credit. Um, now, the bill today I paid up front. No big deal. It was like 71 bucks. But they took x-rays and they did, you know, the consultation thing. Um, but the next one, depending on the price, I'll just put it on care credit. But we do that too. We that's what we uh, pay Dudley's um, uh, ACL surgery on his care credit because they give you X amount of months. If you don't know about that, 
they do, it's like a free, I mean, you have to pay it, of course, but they give you like six months or eight months or to a year, depending on how much you charge. They give you X amount of free time to pay it off. So, I mean, that's a good thing. So it's interest free. I mean, after that, then you're screwed because you'll be paying interest from the back part. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not like it's totally free. Oh, really? They let you use it for other people, too? Well, I guess it, it's just a credit card, so I guess you can use it for whatever you want. But it has to be medical and animals. It is cool, though. I mean, it is a good thing to have. We signed up for it. That's what I actually paid for the first time when um, I had the $3,000 crap done is because I was like, I don't have this kind of money up front. I don't know where you want me to pull it from, but the tree out back didn't bloom this year. <laughs> I was like, and they're like, well, and their dental offices are very, I, I, I told you I'm scared, of the, but this guy's really nice. And I was just like, you know, I'm just going to let you know up front, I'm a little scared of dentists. And he's like, I've never heard that before, really? I'm like, so he's a smart ass too. I mean, a smart butt too. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's do something fun. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something fun. <laughs> Oh, first let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you what this wonderful friend of mine sent. And let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. Thank you, thank you, Penny. Oh, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. First of all, um, see, I got so much fun stuff to tell you, and it's cool. Um, when I went there, you know, because my my gum was kind of swollen, and you know, I was doing the peroxide thing and all that stuff. Well, you know, they say infection, 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 and, you know, the infection in your mouth can lead to your brain, and I was like, you know, you don't want that kind of stuff. So when I said that to him, I said, well, that's where I got, got a little concerned. I said, you know, now that when the tooth, I mean, the tooth is cracked, the tooth is broken, I wasn't worried about it. Um, but now that it's hurting, I said, and my gum was puffed up, I said, I was getting a little concerned. So I said, I don't want no infection going in my brain, and he goes... He just looks at me, shakes his head. And I said, what? He goes, that's very, 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 very rare chance that that could possibly happen. I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, yes. He goes, an infection in your mouth will not lead to infection in your brain. And I said, well, that's what they say. He goes, of course they'll say that, <laughs> but it won't happen. I'm like... Now, um, he's not, he never said that you could not get an infection in your brain. He's saying that it's very rare for you to have a tooth infection or something going on in your mouth. Um, I know, let's get some napkin slap. No. See? Oh, I hope they're okay. Um, but he did say that. And the second thing, he put, he gave me um, pain medicine. Well, he gave me a pain cocktail. That was... Two Tylenols and three Advils. And I did that when I got home. And let me tell you, my headache is gone. And I've had it all day long. My headache is gone and my tooth is not hurting at all. So, just to let you know, you can do that. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to OD on, you know, people scare the living bejesus out of you that you can't take that much. <laughs> it's two Tylenols. Regular or extra strength, so it's 600 milligrams. And I have to, I have to, I have to do the paper, but it's two, two Tylenols and regular extra strength and, and three um, Advils. So look at these. Oh, and we have Janice Ireland. Hey, Janice. Yes, yes, Jude, it is. So Tylenol is the um, acetaminophen and Advil, because I don't use Advils or Tylenols. I use the generic brands. And uh, Advils is the ibuprofen. So let's, let me show you. These napkins came in the mail today from a Miss Krista Vollmer. Look at her. Aren't these cute? I love them. I love them. I love them. That one's pretty. Ah, see, you can't do it then. That's what he asked me. He said, if you're allergic to ibuprofen, then obviously you cannot take it. 
Look at the snowmen. Look, these are snowmen. <laughs> or snowwoman. Aren't they pretty? <gasps> Look at this one. I think I'm gonna use this one tonight. We're gonna we're gonna probably use this one tonight. Aren't they cute? The little cardinal. Thank you, Jody. And the little deers, aren't they cute? I have no clue. I know, I think I'm gonna use the Santa puppy tonight. I think that's when I saw that tonight. I was like, oh, we're gonna be, we might be using that one tonight. <laughs> you know, the dog just like, oh, oh my God, aren't they cute? I have no clue where these people find these napkins from, but I'm gonna tell you. Every time, I've looked for everywhere for Christmas napkins and I ain't found nothing yet. Thank you, Barbara. So, on that note, we're going to put that one aside. But I do want to show you this, too. I found this at the Dollar Tree today. Isn't that cute? I think I'm going to use it, you know, like I made the butterfly and put this on the top. I think I'm going to do some kind of Christmas saying and put this on top of it. I just thought that was so cute. I didn't see this yet. This is, I don't know. Oh, it's, I thought his foot was broken. Isn't that cute? And of course, I love the buffalo check, so. I don't know, I might have to go back and grab some more, but that's, I thought that was adorable. On this what, what? Wait a minute, Tracy, I missed it. White tea. The deer, oh, the deer napkin? Hmm, I might have to, I, I gotta make a shovel. I can make shovels yet, too. <laughs> Really? Now my friend ha doesn't have her gallbladder and I swear I think she takes Advil's. Now technically I'm not supposed to take Advil's only for because of the indigestion that I have. But, Penny, I got you. But... I gave up on that. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. I get up every morning. My shoulder is... I gotta sleep with a pillow under my arm because my shoulder's like... Mm, it's getting old business. I'm not a fan of it. All right. Let's see what we got here. I do have one of these, but I wanted to try something else too. I got this little guy. So I don't know if we can find a napkin that's going to fit on this or if we're going to do something. I don't know. We're going to slap a napkin. That's why I said or two. I'm not sure. But I did put all my Christmas ones together in here. And we're going to say that I do really, 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 really. You don't have gastric bypass patients are not supposed to take it. But I do at least three times a week for headaches. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's not the dogs. That must be Ross. That's why I'm saying... Um, I'm not supposed to take it either because of my indigestion, but Tylenols don't do crap when it comes to, um, I don't know if I'm going to, I think that might work on there like that. I think I'm going to put this one on the round. All right, we're going to put this one on that one because I think this will make a cute little thing because that just, that's adorable. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's just so stinking cute. And we got more of those. But I want to find, I want to see if I want to do something on this one or not. And since I, you know, yeah. But I don't know, I gotta find something that's gonna be semi-long or semi, you know, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll do a cardinal, I don't know, we'll see. Hold on, let's pull this out. Let's see. Ross is making all kinds of noise up there. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. If you, I don't know, I was thinking three three Advils and two Tylenols every four to six hours was crazy. Hey, Jeannie, how are you? I was thinking, are you sure I'm not going to OD on this stuff? And he's like, no, no, you won't. No. He goes, now, if you're a drink, you're an ex excess drinker, and hey, Melissa, girl, I want some Christmas napkins. These, these are the, all the, I mean, I know this looks like a lot. But that's it. The only ones that I found were these. 
And I'm not a huge fan of camping, but I thought that was cute. But I want something that'll go on here that'll fit and not look silly. Hold up. I wanted the cardinal. Where's the cardinal at? I don't think that's going to fit. Because it's only on a small one. Hold on. What do we have over here? See, that's my problem. Finding something to go on these things. That's okay. We got some time. The deers? You think I should put the deers on it? Okay, hold on a minute. Because the deers are longer. Let's see. And that, see, if I put that cardinal on there. We could put the deer on there. That probably would look nice. And then we could make some kind of little bow on top. Hmm. I guess that's the only one other than, other than, oh, I do have this one too. So apparently you gotta have one that's like the little chickadee one. Which one? The chickadees or the deers? I guess they're chickadees. Uh, what are they charging 609 for? And why not, why 609? Why not 610? The deer. Barbara says the deer. Alright, let's do the deer. I need to find a, I thought I had a cardinal one like this. Wait a minute, let's see. How, how many ones? Oh, we have Barbara Way. Now I got all these napkins out. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Somewhere there's, somewhere there's a pen. Hold on. Barbara. Yeah, I gotta I gotta give you guys some time because I kind of rushed off last night and I was like, eh, whatever. I gotta get you guys some entries in. Norton 360, but spelled it nope. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Nope and better. Look, knock on wood, I have not had an issue with my PayPal. I know some people have, but... five eighty a gal? Good golly. Now, ours, I don't know, for some reason, Ross said ours went down, so I don't know. Oh, cool! Uh oh, you're 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 getting there. You're getting there. Look, you need you need what you need to do, Heather, is you need to get yourself your QR code. Um, if you have a web page or something like that, and if you guys if you guys need help figuring out how to get your QR code, message me. I can give you the link. Um, if you're not familiar, but if you don't have a QR code, it's really nice. People like to scan those QR codes these days. I ain't gonna lie to you, and the QR code is those things like that. You can just put it on anything. You can have it on your business cards. You can put it on your business cards too. But you can have it at your stand. Um, if you do event, um, what do you call them? Craft shows. You can just have a sign there that says "Scan Me," and they go up to it and they scan it, and it'll take you right to your web page or um, your Facebook page or something like that, and then they can join. You should. I mean, they're, they're super popular now. I'm telling you, you guys, it's like the way to go. I mean, I was standing at Gabe's the other day, and I don't go in there. and don't know if you, if you guys know what Gabe's is, but it's more like a, um, I won't say a high-end Ollie's, but like an Ollie's or um, discount store that gets all that stuff. It's a, I don't know the website offhand, but you just, it's a QR, uh, Q, you see me? Who do you see? Wait a minute, who do you see? Who are we seeing? Wait a minute, who are we seeing? What did I miss? Who's not being seen? You, Colleen, I see you. Um, but yeah, I was standing in Ollie's line, you know, getting, waiting to check out, and right there, big old thing on the bottom of it said, scan me i was like oh, i don't have anything for gabe's so you can get free money blah 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 or free um coupons 
I was like, oh, okay. And those things at grocery store, really? They have hidden? Uh -oh. let, me, let me see if I can get this out without. Hold on, I might have a. To put, see, that's what I'm saying. Everything is. Gabe's is right there, uh, where Ames used to be in Edgewood. Where, where, where? Um, I'm trying to do this so I don't cut myself. But let's see. Where Ames used to be, where Dunkin' Donuts is in Edgewood. Get this out of my way. Is it gonna affect it? I don't think it is. We're gonna leave it. I'm not gonna sit here and try to cut myself. Karen, 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 Karen your neighbor's gonna be like, What? All our internet data's gone. What happened? Yeah, they went right there behind um, Sonic and all that is. Alright, let's get this painted. Alright, this is. they're pretty much the same this is one of those new ones where the old thrift store is there you go that's it I was trying to think what else was there until the thrift store moved over to the bowling alley <laughs> figure that one out all right I don't know what I'm gonna, I want to put I want to put the deer on here and I'm gonna paint this top part white so that the napkin goes on it and you can see it pretty and I'm gonna paint this white but what color do you think I should paint this so if we put the deer on here, I'm going to paint it white so we can see it. What color do you think I should paint the background? You gots to do what you gots to do. That's right. <laughs> hey, Karen Boyd, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Guys, remember, if you are new to my page, I want to say welcome, first of all. But second, hashtag new. And where you're watching from, and you get a free entry into the buzzer drawer. Okay, so let's put that over so I'll accidentally splash paint on it. All right, let's do the. You think like a blue background? It's an idea. All right, I am gonna take this off too because we're gonna put different ones on. I don't like these. Or antique it. Now this is MDF, so I'm not sure how it's gonna. But that might still work. I mean, it's not. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, but it's not going to work like the regular wood would work, because it's MDF. Huh? From the bag? Well, maybe Heather, I'll keep. I'll keep the separate plies for you. Do you know you can't do that anymore? You can't use these fancy napkins for that stuff. You know what I mean? So these are the I ordered. A whole crap load of it's like 120 of them for um for 19 dollars so we're gonna try them out tonight i just got one out so we could try it and see if it's any different from pablo colorado hi bob how are you well welcome welcome you are new so you know what bob you get a free entry in and last name is harrison bob harrison so now, remember, I do drawings once a month, and we do drawings on the 1st. So all of October, I want to get in the 31st, so you get all of October. I am slapping napkins, Karen. Can you believe it? I was going to wear my slapping napkin shirt <laughs> and my, my sweatshirt, but first of all, it's too hot, and second of all, it's still wet. So I said, oh, well. <laughs> 
Okay, we're just going to get this painted first, and I'm going to paint the other thing too, and then we'll figure it out. But I thought maybe we could just throw two together, get you guys some talk time in, since I was kind of laid back yesterday. And you can tell, you can, can you guys tell when I don't feel good? I mean, I'm on, I'll still do things, but I'm just not the same chit chatty kind of. I'm just like more blah and. Alright, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Belinda! It's like, you can really tell. I, I mean, I can definitely tell when it's like, oh, maybe I should just not go on when I'm sick and don't feel good. But then it's like, no, come on. Suck it up. <laughs> so I only have to do the front of this. You know, I, you know how I am doing backs, but this one will be up against one, so I don't have to worry about it. But we do have to get the sides. Sydney, if you go chew on something, you're going to make me yell at you in front of all these people, and they're not going to like that. She just, she just got out from underneath the table, so I don't know what she's going to go do. She chewed up a wood candlestick holder just before I came on. Are they winning? You got, you, Melissa, you got to keep me up on the score, okay? Melissa, did you get... What? What? <laughs> Tiffany Rigo! Yeah, the Ravens are playing. I believe they're the playing the... the who are they playing? They're not playing the Patriots. They're playing the Bucks. Brady. Brady. They're playing Brady. That's who they're playing. Melissa, did you get my text about my message about paint night? Are you going to come paint a gnome with us? On November 17th, and I have never, ever, 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 ever been crybaby. <laughs> Is what working okay? Wait a minute, why? Oh, the paintbrush? Yeah. So far, so good. I think it's like the regular Walmart ones. I don't see any difference. I don't, I honestly don't see any difference. I know, like, the Dollar Tree, you're like, and it goes back and forth. But this one's pretty good. I think, I, I would compare them to, like, what I usually get from Walmart. So yes, I would definitely buy these again. Look, ask questions and I have no idea what I'm even talking about. And I swear, the only pain med I'm on is Tylenol and Advil's. <laughs> but shoot, I was like, Ross has been having headaches too. And I'm like, well, take that. He goes, well, go lay it out on the counter for me. I'm like, seriously, you can't get it out of the bottle? <laughs> really? Seriously. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, I never, ever, ever, ever have been to a paint, like the sipping paint, paint night thingies, and I... hundred and twenty for nineteen. That's what I'm saying! It's... It, 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 pretty darn cheap, 120 of them for $19. I was like, okay, I'll definitely order some more. I took that link and I copied it into my notepad. Do, do I have a carbon in my other eye? Hey, Kathy, how are you? Why, Belinda? I don't think I do, but... <laughs> Why are you asking? Slappy happy. 
Oh, because Ross and I have headaches? Well, I think mine is mostly to do with um, allergies and stuff. But we don't really have anything that would that would put off carbon monoxide. To my knowledge. Everything we have here is electric. I mean, usually you have to have like, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid and maybe it's not true. But... I think mine is not, again, I've also had brain surgery, so there's a lot of reasons why I have it. But no, we don't, I mean, don't you, don't you have to have, like, gas stuffy to have carbon monoxide? I don't know. Tell me if I'm stupid or not. Ugh. Again? Why? I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me if I'm wrong or not, but we don't. Never had a, a carbon monoxide detector here. Yes, gas, but okay, so that's probably why we don't have one, because we have no gas hookup to our house whatsoever. Everything, everything, everything. I'm talking from the heat to the air conditioner to um, my dryer everything okay that's what I thought I was like but everything in my house is electric we got an older home <laughs> we got we got we got some older home and it's okay it just sucks when the electric bill comes out <laughs> but then it, Sydney leave the door alone please come here but it does, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, when you got to fill the gas up, it's just as bad right now, right? The oil and the gas and all that. You have electric heat and we have oil. We have oil. Electric, yeah, I have, I have all electric. Everything in my house, my stove, my dryer, everything is electric. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I really am okay with not having. Oh, she's talking about you. She's talking back. Who's talking back to me? Wait a minute. You have propane. See, we. No, we don't even have that. I'm talking. Electric, the good old fashioned plug it into the wall. Oh, you know, I know you hear her mouthy. That's because I'm telling you, every single time, every single time I leave her all day long. Ah, solar panels. Do you own them or do you rent them? Because I could tell you stories about that one too. Every time I leave her alone all day, she acts up. Melissa, you ever, if, do you, <laughs> put electric heat on for the first time, paying them off. Gotcha. So you're, so you're almost owning them. See now, if you do that little rental thing for 20 years, then you can, yeah. My parents had them, and they were on like some 25, 30 year contract with them. Right. Never rent. That's what my parents did. They got them, when those companies, companies got them, and they're on a 30 year thing, and of course they passed away, and they still had 27 to go, I don't remember how many years it was, but it was, they had still had a lot of years to go, and they're like, oh yeah, for um, 20 something thousand, you can pay it off, and I'm going, um, no, 
They were really trying to get the money out of us, and I was like, no, that's not happening. Trying to get the good coverage on the top here so you don't see the... Which, you probably wouldn't see it through the dark one anyway, but... We're going to get it on here anyway. Printing is like... Too much water and acrylics. <laughs> That's a good analogy. I like that, Bob. <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes, honestly, when you rent a home, it's the same thing, right? Oh, that's, that's what I was saying, Sheila. When it when you turn on, um... Holy crap, are you serious? 443 dollars or is that four dollars and 43 cents when you turn on the very the first time with electric it's like all that dust burns oh it's really stinks but you seriously though i agree bob when you um even like renting an apartment versus buying a house i mean i know not everybody can do it i get that i understand i'm not trying to be silly when i say it but the price that you rent for you could, for half the price, you could uh, buy your mortgage payment. Confirm. Napkin time! There, Sharon, how are you? Hey, Jessica! Yeah, I always uh, kind of like turn the electric on and then go away for a while because that stuff, it smells like everything. I mean, it is burning. It's burning all that dust off of there. I don't like leave these. See, so you're paying like four hundred and something dollars for electric. It is tougher to rent. And then you try to like say save, save for a house, and it's hard to do. I mean, people, you know, people I was looking for my water. People nowadays can't, you know, they're living paycheck to paycheck. Especially with the price of things right now. I mean, have you seen the price of eggs? Seriously, has anybody, I mean, I don't know, what, what are eggs in your, you know, in your neck of the woods? <laughs> Didn't have pun intended them. What's your, what's your price of eggs at the farm near you? <laughs> Aldi's is like usually the cheapest place and they wanted $3.31 for, for, I need to move this, one dozen eggs. I was like, hmm, glad I'm not making that many cakes right now. Ah, uh, you gotta be careful. Make sure there's no little squirrelies up there or, or bugs or anything, because that can start a chimney fire. You don't want that. Yeah, we, we have a pellet stove, and we have a wood stove. The wood stove is down here. We don't use, because obviously it's blocked with everything. Um, seven, oh, you're in, you're in Australia. Dollars a dozen? Uh-oh, is it good or bad? Seven dollars for 18. So, half of that is... Three-fifths? Well, that's still way more than that. Yeah, and you're in Ohio. What brand? I usually use the Walmart Apple Barrel. Um, I'm not going to lie, I have other brands too, but I really just, cheaper the better, honestly. $16 for 60, what in the heck would you do with 60 eggs? I mean, I can understand if you were a baker. $4 for 18, that's not too, too bad for 18. But, I mean, they were running like 80-something cents at Aldi's. That's cheap. I don't know. I mean, I understand. Then you go then you go to the chicken. I mean, I understand that there's a $2. Darn, I need to come there. I was like, I can't. I cannot spend $3 for eggs. I was like, I can't do it. Sydney, what are you chewing on now? 
I'm gonna get over here right now. Come here. Come here now. Come here. Well, there's number two. So if you want to get rid of any craft supplies, just bring them to my house and lay them on the floor. Or put them someplace where she can reach them. I'm telling you, she that's number two. That's number two that she's chewed up. <laughs> <laughs> eight dollars for eighteen. How come we buy? Is that normal? You guys buy like eighteen? I always. You're, oh, hey, Jerry, how are you? Why are you? <laughs> you're freezing your boys off. Why? What? 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 Wait a minute, what? All right, let's get some Mod Podge on this. Hold on, let me find. Oh, yeah. I think we still have some in here. <laughs> Well, I mean, I usually, that's why I say, you now that all these, that's where I usually get them, and it's usually cheaper, you know, they're at Walmart, but all these is usually, Sydney, stop it. And we have Jerry Schreiber. Jerry Schreiber. 1027. Oh, you have six people in your house, okay. I was going to say, I mean, I usually buy four or five, six dozen at a time, but, you know, that was when I was baking cakes all the time. Now it's like, you know, I mean, I, when I make, like, egg salad, we use a whole entire thing. Craft Smart and... And what? You don't leave her home alone. <laughs> well, I couldn't, I mean, I could take her, but... I did not want to take her to the dentist with me. She could go. I think I'm going to have to open the other one up. Alright, let's open the other one up. Ah, so you get them. I don't like the cold either, trust me. No, no. Uh, me neither. Ooh, just stuck my finger in it. Jerry, you're up in New York, aren't you? Did I remember that right? Ten dozen a month? Good lord, what's he eat? Twelve raw eggs a day? <laughs> I mean, I like eggs, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't even, I mean. Sydney, there's number three. Gosh. Number three. Stop it. Go lay down right now. That's number three. Can we, keep, well, let's keep counting. Oh, God. You know what, we're not going to, we're not going to pour this one this time. tell you every single time when I leave her alone all day this is what she does we gotta get that off because that's a big old thing I don't know what the heck that is ah uh, no, I see now uh -uh. we um we like eggs in this house What's your favorite kind of breakfast egg? Meaning like scrambled, sunny side up, omelet. And I know that's a scramble, but you know, some people don't like all that stuff in there. All right, now before I dry that, I'm gonna put the other one on too. I thought she had something as egg Benedict. Ooh, over medium. Medium scrambled well. 
medium over easy scrambled eggs. Sunny side up. There you go. Also, also known as what? Dippy eggs. Hard, uh, eat hard boiled eggs. I actually like hard boiled eggs. I like eggs that are runny. The yolk has got to be. I mean, even when I make scrambled eggs, they got to be very, very runny. Deviled eggs. Oh my gosh. Ross makes the best deviled eggs. And I don't care what his family says. His family doesn't like them. I'm like, they're way better than what they make. Ugh. They put all these funny things in them. And I'm like, okay, we, you can do that. But mm, ugh. too many foreign things in there. Just ugh. Hard boiled eggs ever since. It, ah. See, yes, I'm, I now now my um one nephew. He does not like. He loves eggs, but he will not eat the yellow part. He refuses. No 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 no, Lisa, sorry. <laughs> no, Ross makes the best deviled eggs. Lisa, what do you put in yours? Do you put all kinds of foreign stuff in it? Gotta have a runny yolk, exactly. It's the only way to make them. I'm telling you. What happened? What happened? She only eats the yellow. I'll challenge him to an egg contest. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just made our mustard and top it with old bread. All right, now I can eat that. I can eat that. You don't put anything foreign in it. Now Ross puts a little. We put a little. Um, he puts other things in it, but it's nothing like you don't. You're not eating like a crunchy. I don't know. When there's like bits of salt, I do not. I do not. I refuse. I can. If you hide vegetables on me, I'm okay. But I cannot eat celery. In anything, tuna fish. I cannot do it in deviled eggs, especially when it is crunchy as can be. Ugh. It's gross. Now, we do put a little pickled juice in it, and it's only from the German ones, but now that we don't have the German pickles anymore, I missed a, I missed a spot right there. Darn it. Um, I don't know if he's going to put them in anymore. Who likes pickles? See, I don't mind pickles in it. Now, we put little, he puts little bacon bits in it. I'm good with that, too. <laughs> Be right back. I'm going to make some eggs. There's a complete spot here that was missed. Let's try it first to make sure I got it all. I love dill or regular, dill or bread and butter, whatever they even call it. I love pickles. I could just, I could drink, it's got to be a dill pickle for me, but I could just drink the dill pickle juice. And you know, that's actually good for you. You like both? See, I'm not a huge sweet, sweet pickle. Oh, bacon, of course. <laughs> Virginia like bread. See now, I, they're, I, they're more sweet to me, and I'm not a huge sweet person with the pickles. Gotta be dills. No pickles! Oh, Rhonda, you're breaking my heart. Roasted chicken with rice. Whoa. Yeah, the dill, the dill, the dill. See now, and now this one missed a little bit up here. Um. When Ross makes his thing, 
German pickles, I don't know what they're Gershkins or Gershkosh, whatever the heck. I should know, but I don't. They, their pickles are more dill, but they're sweet. So they're in between a dill pickle and a, a sweet pickle. So the juice that we used to use from it was just perfect. It wasn't, didn't make it too dilly your eggs, and it didn't make it too sweet. That's why we always used it, but we haven't had German pickles in the house for a while. And we always call them German pickles because of the brain. Gersh, ger, um, uh, gherkin, gherkis, whatever, something like that. Depends on what part of the country the pickles are a thing. No, black olives? No, at least you lost me. No, 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 You lost me. Don't be putting olives, don't be putting celery, don't be putting green or black or purple or orange, I don't care. No, don't be putting any of that stuff in my de my deviled eggs. <laughs> Look, I got some, um, Chips Ahoy cookies upstairs. Because someone was mentioning them the other night, I won't mention any names. All right, so now we got our two things. So now let's get our let's get our napkin slipped. Oh, I just got things all over here. And then we'll get our board. And if we don't get our board done tonight, then you know we'll do it another night. No big deal. We'll just go with the flow. See where we're going. Let's get our napkins separated. Separated. A pirate cookie. <laughs> A pirate cookie. Look at that. I like it when it comes apart. You can always tell. See, Heather, I'll keep this for you. <laughs> you can always tell. It's like if that just stays like that, you know there's another layer because it's not a see-through. not a see-through and you know that they're Turn my tape back <clears throat> now if you guys are new and like I said Bob's new I'm usually and I hope you're following now Bob um, I usually do a lot with the Cricut and the Glowforge not tonight but usually <laughs> Jessica I'm so glad you're here I'm so glad. Krista Vollmer, you're new. Look what I'm using. You're so new. <laughs> I know. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I don't want to ruin this. Come on, there we go. I want to make sure I can keep all sections of this. <laughs> Slapping a napkin. <laughs> Look at this pretty napkin. Some really cool person sent it to me. <clears throat> yes, we have a new friend on tonight, so I hope he's. I hope he'll follow and watch. But like I said, I'm usually doing things with the Glowforge, or, and I may. I mean. I don't know. I have stuff laying around here everywhere. I might put something on with the Glowforge. That's still very tacky. I'm gonna, I gotta dry that. Hold on. I like the little puppy dog one. That's gonna be adorable. I'm just gonna say. I know Krista put it on a heart one. Get, let me get my oh, uh, stretch, stretch, stretch a piece of this. Oh, look, now she's going to lay right here after she done chewed up all that stuff. 
She's going to lay here like a little princess and not move. Mm -hmm. Move that over to the side. I was going to say, I might just kind of lay this on here and then cut it off. I want the two deers, I know, well, I guess it really doesn't matter, but uh, I like the deers in the middle, it's okay. Hey, Carol, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are all doing good. Hold on, I'm just going to put this on here nicely, make sure it stays on. to not be where it is. <sighs> I tell ya, I tell ya, I tell ya. Oh, we have Virginia Winkler. Virginia. So remember, guys, I'm going to write your name down first. Remember, I like to touch you guys now, that if you're not part of my Tumblr group, please, please, please go join us, Tumblr's to Treasures. You can get some really cool gifts. I do have a um, gift thing going on right now where you can put some chocolate in it and everything's all good for $25. $25. Choice of tumbler. That's not personalized though. You have this one? I like it. It's a good iron, but I just don't like where the cord is. It's, it's aggravating because it's like you got to hold it up, otherwise it moves everything. I mean, I guess it could be worse, but... And tomorrow, I'll be on twice, so you gotta come, you gotta come watch. It's alright. Looks kind of strange, but looks weird, but it's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, I'm gonna be on this Jim Ellis's page. Which is JEF Creations and Old Women Making Things. Yeah, and it, that's the only thing about it. I mean, other than that, I, I think it's a good iron. It does its job. But it's just, ugh. Um, but I'll be on her page tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And then I'll be on my page at 8.30. So we got double duty tomorrow. So if you guys are... Ooh, that just gave me the chilies. If you guys are on tomorrow... Wow, for some reason that's giving me the chilies. She is a sweetheart. She is really... She is in Oklahoma City with the Sparkle 6, I think it is. Um, Justin's out there. And I don't know. I don't know the other. I know Sheila was um, not. She's not with them, but she picked them up at the airport, I believe it was. So they were all hanging out together. Oh, that looks cute. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. This looks a little funny to me right here, but I guess it's just because of the way the napkin is. But that's okay. Maybe I'm just gonna. Maybe it's just me, and I'm just gonna be annoyed with that. But. It's just how it is, right? It's just, it's going to have to be that way, right? Okay. <laughs> talk me down. Talk me out of it. So I'm going to be an old woman tomorrow making things. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa, for pointing that out. It just looks a little strange to me, but I don't know. Do you guys... Do you guys see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm not, not so much looking like that, but I'm seeing it. <clears throat> I was thinking I could do something like that. That might be an idea. But do you see what I'm saying? Like right here is where the other napkin kind of 
matched in, but it's okay. Let's see what the other one does. to get straight because it is hot as beans down here. There's the top. Alright, now we gotta get on here. Half time! Are we winning? Wait a minute, who's winning? Wait a minute, Karen, when I say we, I mean the Ravens. I see what you see. Oh, the thing, yeah. I don't, know, I don't think I like that so much. I think I'm gonna like this. Right like that. Let's see. Let's maybe do it just a tiny tad bit. I think I really like I really, 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 really like this all on the rounds. And Cindy was making it with Mimi. Hey, Juanita, how are you? Picked up Justin and Miss Jim and had a blast with them shop. Yes, I know they. I was watching uh, Sheila's um, haul, and um, I just didn't know all. I didn't know everything that they did. That's cool. See, I know. I know Sheila had met them. I wasn't sure Cindy went with them, but that's cool. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Tracy Baker, how are you? Thank you, thank you so much for sprinkling. I lost my pen. Oh, wait a minute. Whose name did I call before? Virginia. Juanita. Gotcha. Let me write down, let me write down Virginia's name before I forget. See? See what happens when I don't? Remember? I got you, Virginia. I did not forget you. Thank you, Krista. You're so nice. I did sell the other one. I sure did. It's still here, but it's waiting to be picked up. It is still here, but he has... James actually purchased it. James was like, okay, that's mine. <laughs> but I really like these things. They're so cute. I just I just feel like I want to do a whole bunch of them. But I thought I would put the other one on another piece of wood to see if I like that. Um, but yeah, I don't, think I, I don't think I really like them on these little bottle caps. They just make the cutest little decorations with the Christmas. Alright, so let's put that there a second. Let's see what we got going on here, because this is really hot now, because it's metal. I got you, Virginia. I got you. That's really hot now. Really, 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 really hot yet. Woohoo. Oh, that's really still hot. <laughs> Just going to let you know, that's really still hot. <laughs> purchase one well let me know we can we can make up some more this is really still hot Ow, this is really hot who would do that why why would metal be hot when you put a hot arm to it Duh. it's cooling down so yes yeah, so tomorrow yeah I'm gonna be on twice tomorrow so remember that it's just a little hot <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you I promise but yes it's a little hot and I'm okay with it scraping the thing off because that's what I want I like that look when it kicks it off on the edge here I really like that I think it makes it look more rustic so it was a happy accident the first time but I really like it and I know I could cut this off but we're just going to go with it that way I don't have to accidentally cut too much. I know, slapping a napkin can be dangerous. Who would have thunk it? Come on, Karen, who would have thunk it? Especially when you put a hot iron on the metal. I mean... This is so stinking cute. This is, I don't 
I have no idea where Krista got this napkin from, but Krista sent it, and... You know, Miss Jim's a gnome person, so on her page, I am going to be doing something gnomey. Um, if you all want to come check it out. I mean, I'm going to post a picture of it on my page. Oh, I was going to say, I... I was thought I put it on... Y'all saw me, like, put it here straight, right? Whew. I, was, I, I thought the other thing was over here, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just put it on crooked. No, I didn't, though. But that's straight. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look, these are perfect. I'm sorry. I, I don't know about anything else, but these little bottle caps are, like, perfect. That's just so cute. It's, like, perfect. It's so real. That's just darn cute. I'm just going to go over it one more time with the hot iron. Make sure I got edges down nicely. Do that to the side. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I always like to just double sure, make sure the edges are down. You know, that would be a cute idea, though, with that one. Hold on. Let me unplug this now because we're done with this. We could, I'm just wondering, whoops, we have Juanita Murphy, Juanita, oh goodness, things are falling over there. Now, if your name is called, that means you are in for the buzzer for the uh, the buzzer drawing for the gift away at the end of the month, which will take place. The drawing on the first. I know this is a cute napkin. It really is. That's not what I want. I want this one. Now, don't 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 hate me right now for this. I just want to see what it would look like. I might have to find because I don't have much thin ribbon. But I just wanted to see what it would look like if I did something like that. I don't know. I'm not digging the buffalo check, but I just wanted to see that way it would cover up that ickiness that I, you know, if I did that, that would kind of look cute, wouldn't it? If I got some, like, thin ribbon. Hmm. I mean, what do you guys think? Hey there, Crafted by Faith with Lori. How are you, my beautiful friend? Thank you so much for sprinkling. The buffalo check, no, but maybe I can find, see that's why I said we can't finish the project, but maybe I can find something. Hmm. Oh, what, I know, I know. Stop, stop. Wait a minute, Cindy, you gotta move your face. Move your face, move, move. What if we use? Well, I'll be. I got this wonderful set from Miss Janice Ireland. And this, I think, will be perfect because it's nice and woodsy. We just, we just doing, we just doing it. I do too. I think that would be cute. Not to slice my finger with the. All right, Janice, what'd you do to this? Go it shut on me. She sent me these. How much heat does it take to get it solid? Oh, you mean the iron method? It doesn't take long at all. <clears throat> Is that what you're referring to? Have you? If you've never done the iron, that is the only, only, only method I use when I mod punch. Well, I lie. I did one time on the on the buckets, but. Right. 
So we got that, we got that one. These now. This one now. But it really doesn't take much. All you're doing is reactivating the um, glue and then it adheres. But I like to go back. I know, where's my exacto? You guys don't want me see it using a knife now, do you? Alright, let's use the, the plain one. And just see what that looks like first. Oh, I think that would be pretty. What do you guys think of that? Now, if we don't use that one, we could use this one. That's choice number one. This is choice number two. It just has, it's a little different. That's choice number two. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got the little ridges in it, um, the little white down the side. This one looks a little thinner. That's two. This one's a little bit smaller. But we can see. I think it, it might think it might be a little too small for what I don't know. But let's just try it. Really? Or we have the plaid. I think it would look good and get rid of that eyesore. Because it's like, I mean, it's not bad just seeing that, but it's like this little crease for where the napkin is. You can see where it kind of goes, and that just hides it. Which one do you guys like? One, two, or three? One was the plain. Two was with the little white down it. The white down the side. And then three is the plaid. One, one. The second one, the second one, the first one, Bob likes three, one, so far one's got it, oh, now two, one and two are tied, three, one's got it so far, I think we're at, I don't know, it's between one and two, alright, let's go to one and two. <laughs> I think, I think one's got it. Alright, let's do one. Just the plain. I think one is one. One is one. One is one. one. Of course one is one. What else would it be, right? One. One. Now tell, tell me English language does not make sense. <laughs> We're going to do it just straight down there, and I'm going to put it off into the back. Oh, we have Tracy Baker. Tracy Baker. Penny said one and two. All right. I want to make sure I make sure I get this. I'm going to put just a, I don't want to put glue on the front. Oh, because I don't want it to seep through cuz this is a burlapy kind of thing. Let's put a tiny bit of glue right here first to start. Pull this tight.
<laughs> How's Vicky doing? Is she still awake? I was afraid she wasn't going to make it. Darlene, I am almost at 4,500. I don't know. Jude better, Jude better hurry up. Thank you, Marla. Jude better hurry up and get that page going and open up and do it. All of a sudden went to uh, ER for his foot. It's all swollen. Ouch. Oh, no, Karen. That's not good. She just started dry brushing. <laughs> All right, that, I think that looks cute. Now, we could even do like a little bow and put it up here in the corner, too. I don't know. What do you guys think? We might get to that. All right, so if we put this on this board, what color should we do the background now? Should we antique it? I'm thinking antique wax on the back now. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think it needs a little bow right here of some sort or something right here. I don't know, in this corner. What do you think? Should we try to antique it and see what happens? Your sister's visiting. Oh, well, that's awesome. Antique it. All right, let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Find a, find a glove. You guys might have me uh, becoming a napkin slapper after all. Good night, Jude. I hope you feel better. I really do. I don't want. I don't want to get anything on this. I'm gonna put it over here because you know things tend to a snowflake. Ooh, that might be cute, Jude. I'm trying to think. I didn't have one made, but I didn't buy any either. I thought I... I was going to say, I was trying to think if I bought some or not, but I don't think it... For some reason, I thought I bought some white ones. But I don't think I did. I might have been watching somebody's haul. Isn't that sad? <laughs> when you watch it, somebody like, you know, un un doing their haul and everything. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Did I buy that or did I? No, I think somebody, I think I saw somebody with that. That's pretty sad. All right, this might give it a good coverage. We're going to pour some in here. Ooh, not that much, Connie. What the heck are you doing? Like I said, this is MDF wood, so it's kind of a little different than regular wood. So I didn't know how it was going to stain nicely, but it's okay. This works. This is working. This is working. It's giving it a darker look, which is good because that's a real light picture up front. Aw, good night, Virginia. You were talking to her. It gets worse as you age. <laughs> no! What do you mean you were talking to her? What, 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 what? What did you miss, darling? You didn't miss much. We slapped two napkins and on two different things. I'm telling you, y'all are going to make me napkin slapper here soon. I might have to consider myself a professional napkin slapper here soon. I need a shirt that says, I need a shirt that says amateur napkin slapper. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Maybe I... Oh, you were telling her good night. Oh! I thought you were saying good night. 
how are you feeling anyway? Any better? I'll tell you what, that little Advil thing took my headache away. I'm, I'm happy about that. I don't know which is worth. Tooth, no tooth pain either, so we're good. <laughs> You know, Jude, you know what? Honest to God, I, I don't make this stuff up. But I'm telling you, if you start feeling better during the day, you always start feeling worse again at night. It's the weirdest thing. You think you're feeling better, and then all of a sudden night comes, and you get worse. I don't know what it is or why, but for some reason... And again, I'm opposite. That's why I said when I had my back surgery, I felt like crap... <laughs> All day long, and we have Jude. I feel you feel. Um, I always felt like crap all day long, but then at nighttime, it's like, oh my god, the whole world just opened up, and it's like usually it's the opposite way around. But you know, honestly, a lot of people always get sick and go. That's why the ER is so much busier in the evening than it is during the day. Have you ever noticed that? Ask an ER person. I bet you I guarantee they'll say that. Let's see if I can pour this back in. Let's see if I can make a mess on the lid. <laughs> Let's see how many baby wipes I can use in one night. Dried. And we're gonna glue this little bad boy on here. I'm not taking my glove off yet. Does anybody work in the ER or any other part of the hospital? Hey, Melissa, let me just tell you. I went to the ER one time. Four, well, m multiple times, but one time, um, because I was having really bad chest pains, and I knew, I knew, I knew what it was. It was, my camera's way up high, you guys didn't even say anything. Um, I knew what it was, I knew it was my indigestion, because I've just had, was getting tests done, everything else, and they said, um, I was in there previously before a stress test and all that stuff, nothing wrong with it, it was all my indigestion. Well, it was so awful one night, I told, told Ross, I said, I have to go to the ER. I said, they got to do something. I said, this is just, I, I, it was horrible. So when I went in, I specifically told them, I said, I'm having chest pains, but I said, I know it's not my heart. Doesn't matter. You say heart, chest pain, boom, you're in. I was like, wow, I, you know. The guy over here with his missing arm, I'm getting you know, <laughs> a GI cocktail. <laughs> a triple. Oh no, see you bet as well. Yep. <clears throat> Headaches are bad, I'm telling you. They put you in a fog, too. That's what I have right now. Well, not now, right now, but um, all day. I've been having issues in the past couple days. It's like it puts you just in this fog, and it feels like you're in some... I mean, I'm functioning, but I'm in a... I just feel like my head's like, woo, like... Hey, Susan Humphrey, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I will show you what I'm making. Let me make sure this is just dry all the stuff off the side so nothing's and I'll show you the pretty picture we slap see that's hold on let me get the sides how are you if you guys are new to my page hashtag new and you will get a free entry and tell me where you're watching from
Ooh, now. Um, dehydration will definitely, 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 and I think that's part of my problem too, is I don't drink enough. But I do drink enough when I'm ready to drink. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is she feeling better? Now that she's hydrated? So we put this napkin on. That looks cute, guys. Look. I think that's perfect with that. Now we almost need like a little burlap bow up here or something, too. And we'll put a little hanger on it and voila. New from North Texas. Well, welcome, Brenda Souther. Am I saying that right? Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I hope you will follow. Um, I do, too. I think it's really pretty. It was Brenda. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize. Is it, is it, is it Souther? You get an entry into the gift away, which will take place on the first of the month, which is November. So I got you down. You got it. You you have. I do write on here, newbie. <laughs> Don't take offense to that. Um, I just know that. Oh, and I did, and I am definitely going to go do this too. If you guys have a birthday when you watch, tell me hashtag birthday and be honest, guys. I mean, don't make it up. Um, you do get a free entry in also. So if it's your birthday, I put you in for your birthday. Because I was trying to think what I could do for your birthdays. Um, I mean, really, what can I do? But <laughs> okay, good. What a guy. What about? What about? this ribbon if we use this and if we just use this and this I oh, know see you can't you can't play did you ever get Melissa you did not answer me or should I just use this and do it like double? Do you think these two together? I just, I don't know, just for some reason it just looks kind of cute like that. It doesn't look, it doesn't look need to Christmassy look. Or do you think I should go Christmassy? But I don't know, I wanted to keep it neutrally. It's your unbirthday party. <laughs> It was your birthday Tuesday? Wait a minute, who said that? I'll put you in. Yes to the game. But do you think both together or just do the bow with this? I was even thinking about trying a different bow tonight. We're, maybe we'll just do that. Maybe we'll, You know how I usually make my other bow, but... About the, about the, the, the paint night at the Nomi. I'm going to try. I used to make these all the time, but I don't know. Let's just see. Let me just see if I did. You answered me? I didn't see it. Just applied. All right, well, let's see. Your birthday was the 28th? Well, today's only the 27th of July. Well, July is, July is not here yet. I know I know you guys were watching. I just start I just started. Oh, you just have to check your schedule. Alright. And you guys are now I'm trying to make it trying to make it the the right size that I wanted, because Well, check it. Come on, you can you can paint. You can use the artistic skills that you have. And yes, I probably waste more ribbon than the. Shh, don't, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Sick. Oh, 
with mine was the ninth. Susan, I'll put you in. If you had a birthday in October, comment and I will put you in for a free entry. So we'll do it all of October, but from now on, you have to be on the day and then say it's your birthday. Is that a deal? So Susan Humphrey, I'm gonna put you in, if I find the pen again. And if you've had a birthday this month of October, I'm gonna put you in. But from now on, how it goes, is that you have to be on the day of your birthday. Sound cool? All right, so now we got our little, so what I did, we're gonna do a different bow tonight, I think. If this doesn't work, then we're gonna go back to our other bow. But I kind of make a, make a um, awareness ribbon. And then you just kind of push it down, but you wanna make this wide enough, push it down, and then you're gonna have this kind of silly con concoction. And this is where I'm still going to go with my little scrunching. What, 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 Melissa, what are you calling? It's between you and the fence post. Just between you, me, and the fence post. What? Tiffany, your birthday was the 10th? Really? Of October? Oh, I, I lost papers. Tiffany, I got you down. birthday scrunching bunch that's it scrunching bunch scrunching bunch see y'all y'all think I'm just a one trick pony around here look at this Look at this. I'm not telling any. Oh, you're not telling anyone. <laughs> I usually say that. I always say, oh, I'm probably wasting too much ribbon. Or it's not going to be big enough. Or, and then it turns out to be just perfect. See, y'all think, oh, she don't make any other kind of bows. I do. I used to make these all the time. But I got into the habit of making... Those so-called messy bows. Then I was like, mm, let's try, let's let's switch it up on them. Let's switch it up and show them I really can do something else. <laughs> no, I'm probably not going to waste any of this. I'm probably going to use every bit of it except for just a tiny bit at the end. Oh, and we have Barbara Way. Barbara. I just almost snipped the thing. Got a bag of another piece of paper. Alright. Now let's put this back down. Now you just gotta play with it. Until you get it the way you want it. And like with any bow. Now you could go back in. And I will, because I have an extra piece here. Mm, let's see, maybe. Maybe I'll take another piece. Hold on. Let me see if I made it long enough. And I probably didn't. Eh. Let me take another little piece. Pretty. Let's 
Yikesers. Oh, I'm so glad you have a wonderful time, Penny. Oh, Darlene, I'm so glad you got stopped in. That's the important part. We're going to put this right here in the center. We'll put it this way first. hot down here. Hold that a second. Darlene, you have fun with your sister. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue here. Not get the finger. See, mother, mother bows are so much quicker. <laughs> Let that dry a second. So, who's ready for Friday? Good night, Tiffany. Oh, you were saying good night to Darlene. Sorry, I just saw good night. I thought you were leaving too. So, yeah, they're doing a paint night around here. And, you know, usually those things are really expensive to go to. Well, the Elks Lodge near me is having one, and they're doing for like 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> so I got a group of people. That are going. I do want to do this. Just because I like this. I like this. I like this. So now, if we put this up here. Actually, then it, it hides the thing. What do you guys think about that? Oh, quilting! Thank you. All right, so let's put it on here like this. Let's glue this bad boy on. And I think with the tails being down there, it kind of hides that so it doesn't need anything on the corner. Ta ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta ta. Right? Ta -ta. All right, so let's get this bad boy on here. You nailed it. See? Napkin nailing. Napkin nailing. <laughs> I think my one bow is a little bit shorter than the other, but that's okay. Maybe I should make that just a tiny tad bit shorter. Well, let me put my hanger on first. I'm going to put a little beaded hanger on. Because if I don't put that on now... And I'm going to do plain wooded beads only because it's kind of neutral going on. <laughs> Not really because I don't want to paint them. I know, I'm telling you. I'm, now i got to make myself a shirt, amateur napkin slapper. <laughs> Shh. Guys, I don't know about this. The, the, all these cute napkins, you have to do something with them, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do three on each side because this is a little bored. 
all these little napkins slapping. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this on, make sure I got the right side. Oh, you better get them. You better get them, Karen. <laughs> we can't be having that. <laughs> Why? They're so cool. It's better than having just a plain old string. Well, there's Tracy. Yikes. Oh, uh, what did Vicky do? <laughs> Wait a minute, what did Vicky do? What's going on? What's poor Vicky doing? All right, let's see how big I need this. We're almost finished. We're gonna do the other one tomorrow with the other project. I think that's cool. Tell her, hold on, tell her I'm almost there. Oh no, she's using vinyl. <laughs> See, she should be slapping a napkin. I should be doing the vinyl. Oh, cooperate here. Come on, get over. I'm just putting these on for support. That's all that they're there for. There. So there's our little hanger. Cute. This is cute. This is cute. We're going to put our little bub on. Hold it a second, and we're going to wait for our last timer to go off, and that's going to be it for the night. Whew. Napkin slapping. And we do have to do, we will do something with this one, but we'll probably finish it up tomorrow. But I'm telling you, I really do absolutely love these bottle caps. If you guys can find these bottle caps, pick them up at the Dollar Tree, because they, these make little cute little... I don't know, they just, that just looks perfect on there. I have some glue sticking out down here. And of course, with the wired ribbon, you can puff up your little bow. What do you guys think? Did we nail it? <laughs> I think that's cute. And look at different. And my little messy bow would have worked on here too. Thank you, thank you. You guys, I mean, if you guys are new, please know. I mean, this is not the normal thing I do. I really do. Touchdown! Oh, wait a minute. Is that for me or for the Ravens? I'm just kidding. Um. I really, I really, really, really do a lot with the Glowforge and wood product, um, Cricut, vinyl, sign making. I mean, this is a sign. This is, this is still on my part. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do different things. 
the ravens. Oh, I thought you were talking about me, Barbara. <laughs> so we are going to wait for our last timer to go off. But remember, guys, if you're not part of my Tumblr group, go join there. Tumblr to Treasures, I'll let you in. Um, if you are on in the afternoon, you can come check me out on Miss Jim's page. J.E.F. Creations and Old Woman Making Things. Um, and then I'll be on tomorrow night at 9.30. I was going to say 5.30. No. At 9.30. And, or no, 8.30. Good Lord, stop. 8.30, regular time for the normal crazy town train. I got a bunch of glue bear tunies come off. Okay. And, you know, this is something that can really sit out longer than just Christmas. It can sit out all winter. I probably could. You're right. Yep. You could probably put a little saying up on here. The only thing that I would suggest, if you're going to put vinyl on this, is either don't use, don't use, um, what do you call it? Transfer tape. I would use, like, press and seal. And I'm going to show you that one night. We're going we're gonna to experiment with that one night. Um, no, I won't experiment with this. I'll probably do another one and show you. But we'll do something with vinyl, and I'll show you the press and seal method. Because it's less sticky, so it won't put your thing up if you don't seal. I don't like to seal napkins. I'm telling you, every time I do, they all crinkle up, and I just don't like that look. That's just me. I'm not saying that's not okay for it to happen. I'm just saying that's me. That's one reason why... I didn't slap napkins for a long time. <laughs> Ravens are winning now. But like this on the metal. Oh my god, it's so stinking cute. We're going to finish this tomorrow night. We're going to put some, just like I did the other one, we're going to put some uh, rope and some twine and the, the pine cones. I was going to call them acorns, but they're not acorns. They're pine cones. And we have Tracy Summerfeld. Alright guys, on that note... I am going to say good night to you. Um, I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow. Do 1027. And I will be seeing you tomorrow. I'm really liking the bottle cap idea too. I'm telling you, they really turn out adorable this way. So cute. And they're just, it doesn't even feel. I don't know if you guys didn't see my other one, I will show it to you tomorrow too. Um, but you guys have an awesome evening. Here's our finished product. Woohoo, look at that. And I will see you guys tomorrow night if you cannot meet me on Miss Jim's page tomorrow during the day. So, you, good night, Vina. Good night, Tiffany. You guys remember Amazon has. I'm not sure what. Remember, thoughts become treasure, or things become, things, thoughts become things, and things become treasure. You guys have a great night. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. So happy you guys are here. All right, guys. Bye.